Welcome to Inside Out Boys with your host, Cody Bass. Good. Alaskan water. Well, hello everybody. Welcome back to the channel. Um, been raining for about two weeks, solid. Um, wind blowing 40 to 60 miles an hour. Just nasty. Um, wind finally calmed down, but we still had a couple more days of rain. And it's, it's not that great out here right now, but it's good enough for us to get another victim in the tank and get it started. And uh, But before we go any further... I want to welcome all you new subscribers. Thanks for joining us up in here where we have some good old outboard fun. For sure. But I need to say a shout out. But I got to pref pref this is it. Um as most of you know, I was on a bizcation down in Florida selling some real estate down there and I got back here. I was down there over 4 months. Yeah, four months. And when I got back, I had a bag of Rubbermaid tote about that big from the postman with all my mail in it. So I went and picked it up, come back home, and uh, started going through it. So I'm just now getting to my mail. But I want to say a big shout-out to my good sub, Mr. Swifty, down in Oregon, the beautiful state there up. Thank you for the Christmas card, and I also want to say a big shout out and thank you to Driver525 in Texas, in the Lone Umstarum State, for the Christmas card as well. Very humbled by that. Thank you so very much, and I really appreciate it. So, there's some shout outs for that. And uh, like I said, I'm just getting to my mail, so if I haven't got to your card or whatnot, um, I will. I've just been going through it a little bit at a time each night because, you know, it's mostly depressing. Bills, bill, 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 bill. Then I got, a, I got a Christmas card. Thank you so much. So we've got us a new Vicatom. Uh, we're fixing to look at in the tank and, uh, I think the owner said it was a 19 and 81. I'm not sure. I haven't really looked at it yet. But he said it quit peeing water. I said, so what I'm going to do is go ahead and put it in the tank and see if she'll start up and just see what the water peeing situation looks like you want to stand. Um, and then I also uh, want to give a couple more shout outs to some good friends down there in Florida and all who helped me out. I want to say a big shout out to uh, my dear friends Robert uh, up in North Carolina and to Ken and Wendy down there in Florida and say hello to them kids for me, Layla and Ryder. So, wanted to do that too. But let's get to looking at this victim. Let's get it in the tank. See if we can get it start. He said it also has tiller throttle stiffness, slopness, and issues. And I told him I don't know if it would be cost effective to repair it, but I can probably do some workarounds, some little tricks to see if we can't at least get it to work better. Um, this old engine that we're going to look at, he uses it commercially. He works his company works on docks and stuff and piers and everything around the island and he said they like this one because it's a short shaft and they can sling it around and not have to worry about the way they lay it and, and all you know some of the advantages that these older two strokes do have for sure over the uh, newer four stroke engines so he likes it it's uh he said they just use it on a, like a little work skiff barge thing for getting up under the piers and stuff and uh so I told him I would get right on it for him because they're doing a 
dock and pier job down there as we speak them. So, let's get to it. got a little bit low so I'm gonna have to put some waters in there okay here's the little victim in questionis you understand us so oh. it's a 25 as you can see and let's get it in the tank She's salty. Choke is working but sticky. Clamp seems pretty sticky, but I got one good one. She's got a lot of rust on her. And let's see what he's talking about with this throttle. Oh, sticky, huh? As in it don't move at all. I can't get it to move at all. Out of under here. And I don't think it has anything to do. Boy, it might though. Something's just froze. But it's not the stator plate. But the riser or something is completely stuck. So hopefully she'll be up there and idle good enough. So which tank am I hooked into that one? Um yeah. Now, let's see if she'll take gas. OK. 
Okay. She's a little on the rusty side. So, yeah, I can't get the, the throttle to move at all. And I can't even uh, get the mag advance and everything to move up under here. It's stuck. It'll go right there and then just stop. So that's almost at the mark, so hopefully that'll be enough to keep it idling. You can see she's pretty rusty and crusty. So let me get set up here and we'll see if we can give this thing a start.
That's my custom tilt. Go get up there. Stay put, would ya? Would ya? bolt out of the shift, but I need to spread that open a little bit or something. Something like that. Are you being funky? The impeller actually looks pretty good. I kind of figured it would. Um, let's see, but it's stuck on the shaft pretty good. Though. Yeah, bitty bitty bit. Should have had the old plastic half moon in there. Ah, oh, there it is, right there. See, you guys probably saw that fall out. I didn't see it. There it is. But here's the cup. It looks pretty good in there. A little scoring up there, but nothing bad. And the impeller looks very good. Hardly any memory set. Somebody's replaced this not too long ago because they put a mark right there and all. And there's no delamination from the brass in the center that I can see. This is a good impeller. What's up? There. 
I see no plug anywhere in the uh, tube riser. The grommet looks excellent. You know, and it was pumping water pretty good. The uh, I'm going to put a new one in there because he asked me to. The plate down here looks really good. There is a little piece of, I can't tell if that's RTV or, yeah, that's some kind of goop they had there, which, yeah, that's fine. I'll clean that up a little bit and put a, a new little bead there, but water pump looks good. So, I'm going to clean up that little base gasket there. You can see, see this right in here? There's, that's some kind of gasket maker they had. You can see this goop. I'll clean that off with a razor blade and put a new impeller in it and that'll be all we're doing to this lower unit there's the new impeller but there's really in my opinion nothing wrong with the old one but for this little key plastic key i put a blob of vaseline Petroleum Jellionus Ioannistinus, I speak it of Spanish. And then we stick that. And I always get a little confused, so I have to do it like this. Put it in there, that's wrong. So it goes like that. Oh. If I can't get a true girl in there. Like them so. Okay. So, in goes the new impeller. A little crisscross them, applesauce them. Okay, let's open up this old garbage raider. See what we get. Not too bad in there at all, really. Mm-hmm. That's nice and still all nice and pliable and stuff. But I'm going to take that needle out of there. 
and see how that seat looks in there. Looks pretty good so far. Get on now. Ah. Nice and clean in there, actually. But Needle all looks good there. And let's let me pick this out of here. Now I might as well take this. Choke holder out. Clean it up. It's pretty yucky. So I'm going to put this in the ultrasonic cleaner and clean the uh, body. The nope. Thought I had one. I thought I had one over here. There it is. Please, that's tight. I can see light it through there. Take a flashlight, shine down like that, and then look in there. And there's a little goobers in there. So we'll run both of that through the ultrasonic cleaner, and I'll be back. Okay, so I got the lower unit. Um, dropped a new water pump impeller in there. Um, and then we got the uh, garbage raider apart, and we've got it soaking in the solution. And the ultrasonic cleaner. And I'm going to let that soak for a bit and give it a good uh, buzzing in the old ultrasonic cleaner, and we'll get that back together. But it's getting a little bit late. And I'm getting a little bit hungry. So I think we'll call this one right here. And uh, as always, that is one more hack from Kodiak. Thanks for watching. Stand by. Part two is a coming on Inside Outboards with your host, Cody Bass.